3, 2, 1. Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I am your host, Rocky2815. And this is my Comic-Con July haul video. So, what goodies did I get? How much did I spend? That's for me to know. And do you people not to find out? Because it was quite scary amount how much money I burnt through within two days, actually more than I could actually ever spend in one day, but anyway. <clears throat> so, what did I get? One of the first things I got is the Lego Mole Superhero Carnage Shield Sky Attack for ages 6 to 12. Uh, not sure about piece count, but the box number is 76036. Not suitable for children ages 0 to 3. I don't know why I read out that really boring bit, but never mind. So yeah, I got that. May get around to doing a review of it sometime, but it's near the end of summer. Next month is Halloween and I got lots of stuff planned and I need to get out other videos such as this one. And actually just before, straight before this one, I filmed my... Minecon haul video, ow. So, if I seem a bit jumpy at all, or a bit sort of stressed in the video, that's why I got a lot of stuff on my plate. But anyway, let's stop being stressed, let's calm and show you what else I got. Another thing I got, well, actually, this is sort of two in one thing, I just decided to combine it in my spare time, is the Power Rangers Dino. Thunder, Thunder Megazord, along with the White Rangers, Drago Megazord, Stegazord, Stega Megazord, something like that. But anyway, this is its surfboard mode, yes. For anybody who remembers that season of Power Rangers, surfboard all the way to defeat the giant monsters. And also the Dimetrodon. I still can't remember, I managed to remember <coughs> the name of this thing, which turns into like a saw blade arm, which is for the White Rangers Megazord. And the next thing is, actually I'll show you my other Megazord, but this one I turned back into two normal Beetle Zords, being the Crimson Thunder and Navy Thunder Power Rangers Ninja Storm Thunder Megazord. And it did come with these two orb accessories, and I can't actually get these open, so unfortunately I won't be able to show you what's in there. <coughs> then we have got the ooh, Thunder Morpher, but it is actually, I do not really like so I got home, but it is actually incomplete, because the Thunder Morpher is supposed to come with two of these crest things, because as you can see, it's removed. This is for the Navy Thunder Ranger, and the one in the shape of, I believe this is Stag Beetle or Scarab Beetle, um, basically pops in there, but why I say it's incomplete is, A, it does not come with <coughs> Crimson Ranger's, you know, symbol thing, and it doesn't come with Navy Thunder Ranger's symbol disc and the phone is going yet again so hang on just one moment <coughs> okay it's appears my mother has got it so now i'm going to actually come around so i can show you this nice up close no batteries in got to replace the battery still but for any of you that understood my rambling just before i cut basically is missing two pieces it is missing the Crimson Thunder Rangers. Let me show you. Stag Beetle symbol, which is in the shape of this head. And it is missing the Navy Thunder Rangers dis, Thunder Disc, which allows them to morph. Because, as you can see, that's the colour crimson red. And it has got the Stag Beetle sign on instead of whatever this Scarab Beetle thing is meant to be. So hopefully I've explained it well enough now. But the functioning of Thunderstorm range form 
still works perfectly. Now, I have only got two more things to show you. I've got another GameCube game. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Which I hope is a good game. It's one player. It takes up 17 blocks of memory. Wow. I guess Nintendo really thought we were children back in the GameCube era. Mind you, I know I missed out on the GameCube era, so I never had one. So I'm sort of making up for lost time, but I don't actually have a GameCube. I have a Wii, which I play the GameCube games on. And this is just taking the cake to a whole new level. I could have got this in a frame, but that would have been too expensive. It is the opening legendary hero sequence from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, also Wind Wake HD, available for the Wii U. I just sounded like a TV commercial. But this is going to go pride of place because it's got Link, his cartoon and sort of drawn form, like hieroglyph symbols almost, a Triforce, Train Sword or Master Sword, and hang on a minute. I don't think we can hear the phone conversation from here. Luckily, I thought the phone was picked up and immediately put down because we get quite a lot of call callers, unfortunately. So, just wrap that back around there. <sighs> so boiling hot. Literally, I'm surprised I even managed to record two videos today. <sighs> okay, so thank you everybody for putting up with me for vi however long this has been going on for. And the previous video, which will be the last Minecon video. Because this video will be coming out after my two Comic Con videos. Which I'm still in the process of editing and putting some awesome music behind because it will be all sped up like a montage thing so basically i look like i'm running like this in the cartoon you know the classic cartoon chase music anyway so thank you everybody for watching and until next time Subscribe, like, favourite, comment, and also the reason why I feel so out of breath, apart from filming two videos in a row, I'm filming these because I feel like I just about have the energy this afternoon because I've been feeling ill and out of energy, but there I forgot today about the boiler men coming to check the boiler and the heating and possible banning of hammers and coming to look at my radiator so I needed to get these done so if these are not the best quality videos I am severely sorry being this one in the Minecon haul video but you'll see the Minecon haul video before this one so anyway thank you everybody and also remember, until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and... Bye, Z's. Power Rangers, Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm.